Hello friends, welcome back to, probably, definitely, uh, the last part of Resident Evil Revelations 2. Now, I had to complete the last boss fight again, uh, the second to last, I guess, uh, because it didn't save, I don't know fucking why, but whatever, it's like 10 minutes, so, here we are. The actual last boss fight. Okay, yeah, she's just pumped you a little bit, that's okay. So, yeah, this is definitely meant to be two-player, this boss fight. You're gonna be feeling that. Now, you know, it's it's not that hard, but definitely it was supposed to be two-player. Most fucking surely, then. Oh, there we go. Oh, right fucking perfect, right there, man. Oh, that was perfect. I could see the yellow. The yellow is the Ouroboro juice. Oh, oh, yeah, I see that. Come on, baby. Come on. You love it. There we go. Burn that bitch. So I believe the better you do here, the better Barry, the better time Barry will have, the better you shoot her. Maybe? I can't remember, actually. Oh, wait, this is a kind of rapid fire. Okay, I didn't even know that. Oh, she has to get in there. Okay, then never mind then. Ah, shit. Whoa, 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 she's inside of me. I don't like that. <laughs> Why are you not running there? Fuck, I can't hit it. Ah, there we go, I got it. I fucking got it. I don't even know how I did it, but... Can I switch back to him? Okay, I can. Fuck, I thought that was... Okay, never mind. I fucked that up, but all the girls, they love it anyway. They're like, yes, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I don't know why Barry is moving. That's kind of weird. Come on, Barry, move your fat ass. God damn it, what are you doing? Don't die in front of your daughter and a hot chick. That's fucking weird. Come on. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And bam! Fuck me. There we go. Fucking got her. Right in the asshole. Right where it's supposed to be. A rocket up your asshole doesn't sound very nice, so... Here we go, Claire. Do your racist brother very proud. That's super cool, by the way. And bam. Kim Jong Nuke. You love it. She's like, oh, damn it. No kill streak for me, I guess. And that's the Ouroboro thingy Mac bobber there. I don't know. I guess Ouroboer is worms using a body for its host, or as its host. I don't know, I'm not too familiar with the Ouroboro virus or whatever. So yeah, I don't even know... Yeah, here it comes. Awesome shot. Yeah, man. It's like, yeah, but if you weren't my dad, I would fuck you. Wait, what? No, uh, incest. Not cool, huh? <laughs> I don't know, huh? Huh. <sighs> so that was it, man. That was it. Let's see what... Do you get a score in this game? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure you do. It's gonna be awkward. It's gonna be like a Look, C or something. <laughs> I know I should have let you have your space. It's okay. I gave you plenty of reasons to worry. You held your own out there, Moira. Yeah, she sure shit did. Of course she did. She's a fucking Burton. Yeah, fuck him up the ass and <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole fuckery. All day, every day. Anyway, let's let these guys come in and clean up. And there we have Revelation 3. So, <laughs> that would be awesome. What are you gonna do now, Barry? Not die, I guess. That seems like a solid option. Shoot more people with the python, I guess. I'm gonna go back to being a father. But what about the python? Give it to Leon, that would be awesome. So yeah, a happy ending, and shit. No one died, except for that chick in the beginning, I guess. And the other guy, and the other guy, and the other guy, but the other guy was in on it, so. He had it coming for him, but like, three people died in an entire Resident Evil game. That's not that much. Of course, the zombies died, but... 
Yeah, main game staff, Capcom. Yeah, man, Capcom. They made a good game. I fucking like this game. I really do. I enjoyed the shit out of it when I played it the first time. And now when I'm playing it again, I almost even enjoyed it more because I saw some secrets and stuff. And um, it's been a really good game. It definitely. Um, I really wasn't hyped when I saw it because um, I did not like Revelations 1. I thought the graphics were outdated. Not that graphics means that much, but... I still thought that was kind of weird when you then played Resident Evil 6 and you saw the graphics were way better. Um, they're even better than, they're, than they are in this game, so... Um, you could definitely feel that Revelations 1 team were a lot smaller than the main Capcom team who made Resident Evil 6. Um, the game felt a lot, lo lot more mo low budget than um, the Resident Evil 6 did, but this game, they definitely seem to have, get, um, to have gotten a better chance of making a higher produced game and I thought they did it really well. This game is the best RE since in my opinion RE4. Um, I don't really think in my opinion I think that's just how it is. I mean <laughs> the games since then haven't been very good and this game is a good game. Is it a good RE game? Maybe not if you're a fan. Oh I'm sorry I got a message. Um, maybe not if you're a fan of the old games but holy fuck I'm not really much of a fan of the old game, so I really enjoyed this game. It has its scary moments, it has its action moments, it has its funny moments, and there is some upgrading stuff as well, so you can keep on playing it. Of course, there's also raid mode, which I'm not a big fan of either, but hey, whatever. People love it. I tried it a bit. Not really me, but whatever. There's even a, there's even a different ending as well. Not a good ending. You can find it on YouTube if you want to. Uh, it's, that's the bad ending. I got the good ending. The reason why I'm talking right now is because there's shit after the credits, so I can't end it here. <laughs> but also, um, out of RE, uh, I hit fi uh, 50,000 subs, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much for that. That's amazing. So, yeah. And in other news, Life is Strange Episode 4. Fuck me. <laughs> Cannot wait for Episode 5. Holy crap. I wish they have done it like this game, where the episodes came out like two weeks apart. So... It was like an episode, but it was like a series on TV, where you always, yeah, you got your dose, you know, whereas in Life is Strange, there's like two months in between, and it kind of sucks, because, well, it kind of feels like they didn't even make it, like, it feels like they're making it right now, if you know what I mean, but yeah, good fucking game, I'm glad I brought it, I bought it, even though I bought it a month or two later uh, than when it was released, I thought about pre-ordering it, but... Then I played Revelations 1, I wasn't too hyped on it. And then this game became a less hyped. But I should have been. I sh yeah, I saw some gameplay, I was like, oh, this shit looks cool, but... But it was cool, it was a great game, I'm so fucking glad I bought it. It was amazing. And this game does not have any DLC. No, it doesn't. Shut up. No, it doesn't. The DLC is terrible. The DLC is fucking... Ugh, gross. So gross. And I will not be playing it. I will never be playing it. I don't fucking care. It sucks so bad. I'm t of course talking about the bonus episode. What is it called? The Struggle and uh, Little Miss. And they both suck dick. I'm not going to be playing it. I never fucking will. They suck ass. But uh, the main game is amazing. It's fucking great. I really like it. Really, really like it. Is there even more to talk about now about this game? I don't fucking know. Resident Evil 7. I mean, I've, I've seen some fake trailers. I'm pretty sure they were fake. Some people were like, it was an animated movie that came out. Um, but Resident Evil 7, I'll definitely be fucking buying it. Because I liked RE6. I really did. I liked RE6, so fight me. <laughs> I hated RE5, though. I fucking hated it. I can't even get through it because of Sheva's terrible AI. Because I don't have any friends to play it with me. Because no one likes to play it. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to play it alone then. But I can't because I can't uh, complete the final level. You know, level 6-1. It was not the, the final, it was also 6-2 and 6-3, but 6-1 I can't get through it because of those uh, one-hit kill enemies. And Sheva keeps running right into them, so I can't do anything, I can't complete the game. But Resident Evil 6 didn't have those issues, not for me anyway, when I completed it. Um, but yeah, fucking Resident Evil, man. Fucking Resident Evil. Andy Davis. Laura Skelly, that's a fucking weird name, holy shit. <laughs> Lolly Bosma. Okay, cool. Capcom USA. These people are all fat asses. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I really wish I really would have wished this game was as long as Resident Evil 6, because that game was long as fuck. 
took me 24 hours to complete it the first time. And I didn't even spend, like, that long running around and doing shit. I just, like, just did it, basically. Quality assurance. What the fuck is that? Next gen. Is this, did this game come out on uh, PlayStation 4 and Xbox? Xbox One? I didn't know it did that, but whatever. I guess it didn't even come out in PlayStation 3. I don't know. I don't know anything about consoles anymore, guys, ever since I started playing PC. I know nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's ridiculous. I didn't even know that it was a new Uncharted game coming out. I didn't even know about that. <sighs> and Last of Us 2, I heard maybe that was just rumors, but that's probably gonna suck. Or maybe not. Maybe it's gonna be awesome. Who fuck knows? The first game was decent. I think it was way too overhyped. I don't think it was nearly as good as Uncharted. Uh, I think it was overhyped a little bit. Like, yes, it was a good game. I I enjoyed it. But that doesn't mean that it was that amazing. Like, people gave it 10 out of 10 and it's the best game ever. Like, no, it was good, but not that good. Like, calm the fuck down. Soak your tits in some water. Oh, that's the amazing photo there. Let's see. Let's see what the next one is. Come on. Oh, no, it's, the, it's ending now. Tosi Software. Did they, did they provide? I don't think they did. I don't think they... Let's see. Story Writers. That's funny, because, you know, right... Well, that, that really looks like a Borderlands... Oh, uh, not Borderlands, I'm sorry. A uh, Bioshock thing. From Mosa Interactive. Oh, Simply Gone, I guess, produced it, right? Resident Evil Degeneration. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Whatever. Getty Images. Is that Getty Lee? Special thanks. House of Moves, Blur Studio, x -Spec Art Center Incorporated, Red Entertainment Corporation. Thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making a good game for once, Capcom. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like most of Capcom's game. I love Dead Rising 3 as well, honestly. I fucking love that game. And I said Resident Evil 6, I liked it, so... Revelations 1 was okay. It was mostly because people said it was it was gonna be awesome that I was disappointed by it, but whatever, Capcom, yeah. Let's see the final scene. I'm pretty sure that was a scene after the credits. Please tell me I'm not wrong and looking like a complete dick back. Why is my mouse there? I'm using a fucking controller. There we go. There we go. Yeah! Stead trap guy from Simpsons. Okay, here we go. Stars, I love that. So he's in China now? That's Chris Redfield, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, tell Pierce to look after him. Yeah, Pierce. That's his, that is Chris, yeah. That's Resident Evil 6, by the way. So I guess this is right before Resident Evil 6 happened. So, right before the apocalypse. <laughs> Spoilers, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I guess this is where Leon ran by, right? Oh, excuse me. Hey, Polly, you see my jacket over there? There's no time for that. Come on down and get ready. So, uh, yeah. I love how Lottie is over there. It's super weird, even though it totally got fucking killed by Alex. A cage went in search of a bird. And now, the bird is gone. Yeah, Tall Oaks, did you see the bird that? has changed. So yeah, feel the pain. I'm pretty sure that's spelled incorrectly as well. Metamorphosis. Isn't it metamorphosis? You know what? Let me just check that shit on camera. Because judgment was incorrect. So I'm just going to see if metamorphosis. I don't know. It might be correct, that one. I don't know. I'm not too sure about it. But I'm pretty sure it's an I. Just a second, guys. Just a second. We can look for this as well. Uh, next. Let's see what I got. I got an S. Retry zero. Roots of Future Past, awesome. Revenant figurine. So I got an A in accuracy. Oh, that's not the entire game. That was just that. Okay, let's see here. I got I got Google up. Metal. More. No, it's correct. It's actually correct. Holy crap! I was wrong. Okay, well, good on you. I guess it's one one then. Good job. Good 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 job. Good 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 job. Next, let's see if I can buy that shit. Oh, no, never mind. I'm just getting teleported straight to the main menu, I guess. That's okay. Okay, yeah, but, okay. Let's see if I can buy some skills, maybe. Uh, yeah, skill settings. Let's see if I can get that on camera. I can! I can get it! I can, right? Yeah! Awesome! 
That was what I was saving up for, like, the last couple of episodes, so I'm glad I could get that on camera. Cannot uh, oh, cancel any action with animation. That's actually pretty good. I'm thinking reload and uh, maybe knife animations and stuff. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'll have to think about that. It's, it seems pretty cool. So, that was it for Resident Evil Revelation 2. One of my personal favorite games to come out this year. Uh, Dying Light was also pretty good. Of course, Life is Strange is amazing right now. They might fuck it up in episode 5, I don't know. I haven't played it. Um, but yeah, definitely a great game. I'm fucking happy about this game. I, phew, I'm so glad that they made this. So, take care of yourself, friends. And I will see you in the next LP. Farewell.